Hi there, Leo. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo for the week of the 26th. If this one isn't resonating so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. All right. So we've got the nine of swords here. That's usually about worry, anxiety. I'm overthinking something. I'm in my head. For some of you, you may be seeking some truth here. We have the Seven of Cups, which is confusion, illusions, delusions. Sometimes it's about an inability to make a decision, like I don't know which option to take here. We have both the Ace of Swords and the Justice card. Ace of Swords is often about information, uh, speaking the truth, telling the truth. Maybe you're seeking the truth here. And I don't know if it's a truth about someone else or about yourself. And we've got the Justice card, Major for Libra. Justice can be about making things right or apologies. It's also about balance. You can see how those two are perfectly balanced, the scales. Um, again, there's like some truth seeking here. I need to know what's going on. Something is weighing on my mind. I'm looking for some information here. Let's take a closer look at the person that you are dealing with. All right, we have the Two of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands is a decision-making card. It's looking at the long term, a couple years from now, four years from now. This can also be about choosing a path, choosing a direction. It is a long distance relationship card or a travel card. Okay, so I think this person has some truth for you. We have the sun showing up here. The sun is one of your major arcanas. It's about enlightenment. Um, sometimes it's about joy and happiness. It's a card of the summertime clarity. It can also mean something that comes out of nowhere here. Ten of Pentacles. All right, so Ten of Pentacles is a very long-term relationship with someone it's being married to the person, having kids with them, building a legacy together. You know, like it's becoming part of a family. The two of you are building this legacy that's going to last decades or beyond your death here. You could be married to this person or you want to be married to this person. It's possible that one of you is married to someone else. person has some truth to tell you about that. All right, we've got the death card. Let me arrange these. So the death card is major for Scorpio. You see that it's rebirth here, right? It's a renaissance. It's something coming back to life. Um, this relationship could be going through some changes, or this person wants to talk about changing this connection, maybe even taking things up a notch here. Uh, more stability in a connection. Yeah. All right. We're going to start at the beginning. Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. This is building, again, that legacy with someone. It's putting time and effort and energy. It's investing in a connection. I would say Pentacles are a slower moving energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo here with all this earth showing up. I think you have big changes coming in this connection, and maybe you don't realize it yet. Um, this person's feelings may be a lot more serious than you, you had assumed. They're wanting to talk about the future here. All right, yeah, they're wanting to talk about the future here, the judgment card. Major for Libra for me as a reader, some people see this as a Scorpio card. Um, judgment is making a huge decision. It's also like a rebirth or a renaissance, right? Like 
that spirit is being lifted out of her body. You have a rebirth again with the death card here. This is like maybe resurrecting this relationship if it ended or someone coming to you and wanting to work this out, looking at this in a long-term situation. I think they're trying to determine here with that two of wands in reverse, like does this have long-term potential? How would I go about doing this? All right, let me arrange these and then we're going to clarify. Okay, I'm going to use the Zodiac Tarot to clarify. At the end, I'm going to pull cards for how this person feels, as well as something that they're thinking here. You know, the Two of Wands in reverse can also be like someone is trying to come into alignment with themselves. Um, they're looking at their goals and where they want to be and like choosing a direction here. Maybe there's been a disconnect between what they want and what they're doing. That kind of also lends itself to the judgment card showing up here, making a very deliberate decision. So what is going on with this person? <laughs> We've got the lovers. Major for Gemini. You could be dealing with the Gemini here. But I would say that this relationship is going to be changing in like fundamental ways here. Um... This may come as something of a surprise here, how serious this is going to get. Or maybe this relationship has gone off the rails and things are about to get back on track. If things were really good between the two of you. We have the Empress card as well, Taurus and Libra energy. So the Empress's growth, its expansion it's having children, um, seeing someone as a marriage partner. If you don't want to have like human babies, it's plant babies or dogs or cats or whatever you guys are into here. But there's definitely like a nurturance, um, expansion here, long-term development of this relationship. I just don't think you're expecting this. It feels like things kind of went off the rails hard. There we go. Ace of Cups. A brand new love cycle, falling in love with someone, and the Three of Swords in reverse, letting go of heartbreak or heartache. For some of you, there was a breakup here, and you're wondering what happened, or, you know, like, was this all for nothing? Was this worth nothing? Like, there's some questioning this. All right, let's do something that they're feeling as well as what they're thinking here. So how is this person feeling about you? What is the feeling for you here? How do they feel about you? Ugh. I have uh, new circular tarot cards and they're hard to shuffle. Well, okay. Let's do one more shot here. What about the feelings here? All right, we have two showing up here. We have the six of wands, hold on. And we have the chariot showing up. Six of wands is a very Leo card. This is someone who wants to be seen. It's a victory card, um, wanting your attention, wanting your affection, and the chariot, major for cancer. They're wanting to move. And I don't know whether that's physically closer to you, energetically, emotionally. They want some movement here. Even with the Six of Wands, this person's on a horse, right? They're on the go. So they're hoping to move this relationship along. Maybe things have been kind of stagnant lately. This could be also someone who sees you as successful, who sees you as um, getting ahead in life, getting accolades. Someone who other people notice. What about... What are they thinking here? We are not right for each other. I fear that you'll reject me. Are they rejecting you or have they rejected you because they're afraid that you are not right for each other? Or that this isn't headed for a victory. Oh, 
Let's see what fell. Well, there's a big one. I want to trust you. This person could have trust issues. This may be the kind of person who psychs themselves out. This is from the In the Shadows Oracle that I have. All of the cards are black and white like that. So I would say that this person maybe feels shadowy about love. I am not available. Emotionally available is what, what I'm thinking here. Even in what came out, it's like the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. It's someone who sees themselves building a life with you, but it isn't the emotional aspect. The Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. I do think that this person may hold back with you emotionally, and that could be something to work on in this connection. All right. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. And if you want the extended, click the join button. We're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, and then the unknown. All right. Blessed be.